Wika. We're here in Windsor, which is the oldest town in the state of Connecticut, at the Whistle Stop Cafe. I hear the Whistle Stop Cafe has some of the best food in the area. Let's go inside and see what's cooking. The Whistle Stop Cafe has been family owned and operated since 2004, focusing on serving fresh, delicious home style food. Their motto is to keep it all in the family, supporting Connecticut family-run businesses whenever possible. That's the driving force behind the guarantee of the highest quality ingredients in everything they serve. I'm here with Elizabeth Plant, who is the executive chef. And what are you gonna make for us today? Today we're gonna make chicken marsala. Oh, yep. So I see that everything you make here is fresh, made to order, right? Yep, yeah. uh, made to order. So uh, if you ever, you know, if we had someone with a gluten-free allergy, for instance, mm -hmm. um, which uh, tends to be pretty popular these days, you know, we can skip the flour. We use uh, a chicken breast that has no preservatives, uh, no hormones added. Um, it's really tender. It's really hard to overcook, too. So uh, even if you do uh, cook it a lot, it won't be tough and chewy like most chicken. So you saute it in the olive oil too, which is really healthy. So this yes. seems like a really healthy dish. You yep. have the mushrooms and spinach and olive oil and garlic. Yep. Very yep. heart healthy, right? Yes. Yeah. The only thing is we do serve it with mashed potatoes, which contains a lot of butter. <laughs> but so everybody has to have a little bit of butter, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> We've got some uh, sliced uh, white button mushrooms here, and we're just gonna add those in and let those start sauteing with the chicken. All right. Mm. Next up, we're gonna add our chopped garlic, give it a little flavor and let that cook with the mushrooms a little bit. I know you out there can't smell this, but this smells really good, especially the garlic. Yes, for sure. Now that it is time to add the marsala, the wine, the good part. Woo! <laughs> yes, cooking can be fun. <laughs> now I see you're using baby spinach leaves. Those are tender, right? Yes, much more tender than uh, regular spinach, okay. um, which is what makes this dish even greater. So we're gonna get our pan smoking hot with the oil. Toss it around a few times. Take it off the heat. Wow. Yeah, so as you can see, it's it's not really cooked all the way. It's just kind of heated through. Mm -hmm. And time to plate our chicken. This looks really good. And it smells even better. And I want to bite. <laughs> <laughs> and then all we do to finish it off, is add a little bit of parsley as a garnish. Mm. And there's a Whistle Stop Cafe's Chicken Marsala. I'm here with the executive chef, Elizabeth Plant. You just saw us in the kitchen, and now we're out here with this delicious food. What makes the uh, Whistle Stop Cafe so special? Um, I think first and foremost um, that we are family run, we're a small business, um, and it's run mostly by women. Uh, my mom and uh, my twin sister and my older sister, uh, we all have our own different roles here. Um, and on top of that, uh, our, just the quality of our food, um, freshness of our ingredients, and uh, everything made to order. Right. You can pretty much change anything, and uh, there are a few other dishes here that you can see. Um, these are some of our most popular. Um, the chicken marcel that we made earlier um, for dinner. Uh, for lunchtime is our train wreck. This is our signature wow. burger. Okay. Yep, um, we make our own barbecue sauce. Uh, Swiss cheese, applewood smoked bacon, uh, topped with onion rings on a grilled roll. Um, and for breakfast, uh, our, probably our most popular sweet dish uh, is Bananas Foster French Toast. Okay. So it's kind of like dessert for breakfast. All right. And then, um, so uh, all of our desserts here are homemade and they are baked by my mom. Wow. She's got something else for you. And here we have a coconut cream pie parfait. Mm -hmm. All stretch made desserts here at the Whistle Stop. And uh, oftentimes customers will ask for a, a favorite of theirs and a day or two later it appears in the case. So we like to cater to the customer's taste. I'm definitely going to try a piece because I love coconut. That's really good. Best baker, right? <laughs> so, if you want to see some flames flying and some delicious homemade desserts, come on down to the Whistle Stop Cafe. And what do you like most about the chicken tenders? They taste really good. 
They taste really good. I like that answer. That's a very honest answer. Let's ask your mom. What's your perspective on the Whistle Stop Cafe? Well, I have to say, I've only ever had the Pilgrim sandwich panini because it's my favorite, and I can't bring myself to get anything else. Okay. <laughs> um, and we, we like supporting our local businesses in town, and we're out celebrating good report cards and teacher conferences. So we try to do something special tonight. I know Dana personally, but I come here not to just chat with Dana, but the food is fabulous. And we come a couple of times a week. Anything you get from any menu, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I've never had a bad meal here. And, and I'm not alone because it's usually packed in here when we come in.